All right, so what's up with y'all? So obviously, by the title of the video, I do this every video. But what the title says is what we're doing in today's video, and we're making a fucking pizza. So uh, I'm excited. So hopefully we can do this together because I ain't really never made a homemade pizza before. Actually, yesterday was my first day ever making a pizza. It turned out like this. Hopefully we can remake this and we will eat it and it looks good. So currently, this is what I have set up. So why are we in my room? Because people are making cookies in the kitchen. Does that matter? No, okay. Pizza crust, perfect. It's in a long rectangular shape. You can cut it in half or keep it like this. Some basil pesto. Some marinara sauce. Some uncured pepperoni that I just been eating up the package like crazy because it's good. Fresh mozzarella. I have basil somewhere, but somehow, some way, my basil was missing because the people in my house decided to take my basil last night and put it somewhere, and now they can't find it. But what's gonna happen now is I'm gonna clean my desk because this is kind of a mess, you know? About to play Minecraft. Which is actually why we're cooking the pizza. So, in about 20 minutes, I can be eating something while I'm playing Minecraft with my lovely girlfriend. Anyway, let's get right into this. First and foremost, uh, we gotta turn off this whack ass Minecraft music because this is not peaceful at all. Don't worry, I'm gonna give y'all some bangers to listen to. Uh, do we know how to cook a pizza? Fuck no. Do we know what we're doing? Once again, not at all. Um, first and foremost though, dear Corona, hand sanitizer. A little squirty warty. I don't wanna do this over the food, but see that? You put it in your hands, then you rub. All right, uh, so since we actually ready to get started now, let's get right into it. Um, yeah, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. What did I do yesterday, people? Let's see. So first we got olive oil. Now, am I a professional chef? No. So this Hyman don't listen to me, and I say, if you die listening to me, well, that's unfortunately your problem. Um, but we have olive oil. Um, we're gonna pour a little bit of this along the pizza. Just so, I don't know what this does, but I feel like people use olive oil a lot when they're cooking, so it can't really go wrong, and yesterday's pizza tasted good, so we're just gonna do it again. The hands are clean. Therefore, we're just gonna potentially just move it over a little bit so it's just not all clumped up in one area. We don't need the olive oil all oily in one spot. We don't want no oily pizza. So we're just gonna, you know, Move the olive oil like that. You can kind of see the gloss on the pizza itself. Just gonna move it down. I honestly think that's good enough. I'm just gonna put a little bit over here. And just once again, just moving around. We're just gonna move it around. So next step, um, we're gonna get this marinara. Cause that's always fun. You know, yesterday I was sitting here and I was just like, oh, wow, marinara sauce, pizza sauce is literally just tomato sauce. It's the same stuff they put in spaghetti. I don't know why I was so shocked, but I was. So with our 306, 365 organic, um, we're just gonna scoopity whoop, plop. Scoopity whoop, plop. Uh, one more scoop just for good luck. Perfect. So now we're just gonna uh, spread this around. I kind of feel like a kid when uh, I used to make the pizza Lunchables. Those were always fun. If those wasn't your favorite Lunchables, um, you might have problems. So yesterday, um, I put too much sauce on the pizza. But how is that? Because you can never have too much sauce. Nah, yeah, you can't have too much sauce, actually. Uh, so we're just going to spread this around. 
What bothers me about putting pizza sauce on pizza is you can never get like an even layer of pizza sauce because you know it's going to look like this in some areas and it's going to look like that in other areas. So you know that doesn't help me out at all. We're going to give it about like an inch crust around. I did that without even trying. Hashtag professional. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I don't, what goes on next? Cheese, pepperoni, what, what goes on next? Um, hey you, what goes on next? Uh, after what? Uh, sauce. Dough, sauce, cheese, toppings. All right, since she said uh, cheese guns on next, we're gonna put on the freaking toppings because I don't listen to her. <laughs> so, here we go. We're gonna grab a pepperoni right here. I should probably stop eating all the pepperoni. It's probably not good. It says uncured. I don't know what uncured pepperoni means. Maybe I'm not even supposed to eat it, you know? Who knows? No. Anyway, we're gonna put on the cheese on next because that's how you make a professional pizza and I'm professional out here. Hey, is it me? Or do all the G mozzarella, all the Z's and mozzarella look like G's? Like I never understood that. Cursive never made sense to me. Not the point. Anyway, uh, we need a knife to cut this good stuff. So, I'm gonna get a knife. Oh wait, no, I have a knife. But I need something to cut it on. So, movie magic. All right, so we're back. And we have our mozzarella. The mozz. Uh, unpopular opinion, mozzarella cheese is the best cheese. No, I think that's a popular opinion. All right, so we're gonna put the mozzarella cheese like that. Only thing I don't like about mozz people is it's so moist. And moist is such a weird word. Anyway, we need a knife. Can't find a knife, guys. I don't think this will cut for cutting, you know? So we're gonna get a big knife. Cause big knife is obviously safe, you know? Boom, big knife acquired. You know, is it sterilized? Probably not. But it's a knife. Alright, let's go. Alright, maybe harder. Try a little harder this time. Alright, it's not working guys. Alright, we're just gonna slice into it though. So the best thing about mozzarella is this shit just spreads. So we're just gonna put a Pump right there and that whole right side is gonna be covered with moths. I'm telling you people I'm telling you this is gonna look amazing same thing right here down in the middle boom ba boom ah perfect we need a little more cheese though a little more cheese you know what I'm saying you can never really go wrong with too much cheese to be honest I'm a, I'm a cheese person so we like to cut the cheese so, boom, 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 uh, 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 boom. Cheese is acquired, it's assembled in everything. Any more cheese, this would just be a cheese pizza, honestly. That's already probably too much cheese, but it don't matter. Next. Now we can go to the topping, the uncured pepperoni. Now, I have just enough just to finish this last pizza. Good thing this is my last crust. So we're just gonna go crazy and throw the whole thing on there. Boom, boom. Oh, wait, before we continue this, I gotta go preheat the oven. Cause you know, I don't wanna be having a cold oven while my pizza's ready to go in there. So I will be right back again. And we're back once again, people. So. Since the oven is now preheated, we're just gonna throw all these little pepperonis on there. Mm. 
うんうんうん Just like that, you know? Put a pepperoni on top of the cheese. That's gonna taste amazing. Somehow I left all my pepperonis on the left side. So we're just gonna move these around a little bit just to make sure we're having a little fun with the pepperoni, you know? Pepperoni justice. Everybody gets the same amount of pepperoni and we're all gonna be good, all right? So pepperoni's gone. Check. Pizza sauce. Done. Check. Just from my pizza sauce lover, we're just gonna uh, barely any, just a little spoon dribble, right? Boom. So right now the pizza can be done. We can have a muy 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 mozzarella pepperoni pizza. But no, we're really gonna spice it up a little bit. So next, you know, I really felt like an Italian, bro. So I wanted to get some basil. Some basil. Basil smelling good. Basil always be smelling good. So we're just gonna go. Oh, wow, this is a big sprig of basil. So just like how they really do it out there, we're just gonna pop plop that on there, bro. We're literally just gonna plop that on there. No cutting, no nothing. Plop. I'm telling you. So all we need plop plop bada boom bada bing the basil's done right perfect now once again we have came to a position where the pizza can be done but i'm fancy with it right right so we're just gonna put this around the crust because everybody loves a nice pesto basil taste you know it's gonna complement the actual real basil amazing make the mozzarella pop the pepperoni go mooey 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 right sorry I can't open jars correctly all right boom so get some pesto just put this on the edge of the pizza you know so while I do this um, I guess y'all will watch me Great thing about pesto, there's a lot of oil in it. Therefore, this pizza should not, mm, no, no crust should burn. You know, we should get a nice crisp crust, which is gonna be perfect, you know. I'm really aiming to make the pizza from yesterday. If it's any worse, I will be disappointed. You know, we're, we're adding a few more little things on this pizza though. I like the pesto and the crust, but if anything, that should make this better. All right. So now we have came to the finished product. I'm gonna take you out to the kitchen with me. I'm gonna put some kosher salt and oregano on this, then pop this in the oven. Come back, play some mean crack with my beautiful girlfriend, then boom. We finna be, finna have the Italian party today. We're gonna test the pizza, and I'm finna come back with y'all with a nice review, with a lovely review, and y'all finna tell me it looks good, and y'all finna tell me it probably tastes good as well, because that's all I do here. I only make people happy. But, on that note, let's go to the kitchen. So, we the pizza, my lovely chicken, and yeah. So bada boom bada bing, we got the pizza right here. So we're gonna add some kosher salt and some oregano. Sprinkle a little salt. Did you put it on pizza? We're gonna put some oregano. Man, oh man, I done did it again. Look at this beauty. Whew. Man, like I said, the pepperoni is popping, the cheese is melting, the basil is Basilin, the, 
the edges aren't burnt because of that oil. The pesto is smelling good. If there is smell of vision, people, I'm telling y'all, this would be the best thing y'all smelling like probably all of 2020. Cause keep it hundred. I feel like a real Italian right here, you know. And even this isn't the best it could get, you know. But I then did it again. That's all I can say. This is not gonna focus. Fuck it. Cut a slice into the pizza though. That crunch is beautiful. Oh my god. Guys, I, I might have a profession in pizza making. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Alright. Cheers. Let's bite into it. This right here. Okay. This right here. Okay. Maybe it's too long. But this right here. Hit. I mean, I did not even go into heaven. Now this, go crazy. Now while I finish the rest of this pizza, thank you for coming again. Tune back in for next week or later this week for a new video. But uh, I'm gonna sit here and finish this pizza. I'll see y'all when I see y'all.